Hello, this is Brad Tallis with NextGen Solutions, and welcome to this week's Fusion Friday. So this week's topic is ground to parent. So let's take a look to see how this works. So you may have noticed um, in the recent versions of Fusion, this new little icon that looks like a little anchor, um, and that is the ground to parent command. And what this is basically saying is this frame is grounded to the parent assembly, which is the computer fan assembly, and that whole assembly is grounded to the top level assembly. And you can kind of think of this almost like it's building rigid groups for us automatically instead of having to create rigid groups. So let me uh, show an example of this. I'm gonna create a new design and I wanna create like a, a lunch box or something like that. So I'm gonna create a new component and let's just call this um, lunch box assembly. I'll say okay. And you'll notice that it automatically created that little anchor icon. And if I hover over this, it says the lunch box assembly is grounded to unsaved because we haven't saved this yet. I'll go ahead and create a new component underneath this assembly. Let's just call it uh, base. And you'll notice that it is grounded to the parent, which is the lunchbox assembly. Now this will make more sense as we start moving things around, but I'm gonna go ahead and draw the base here really quick. So I'm just gonna do a center rectangle like so. Let's just make it maybe like 12 by eight in size. I'll right mouse click and say extrude, and let's just go maybe minus three inches in this case. And then I want to shell this part out, so I'm just going to right click on the top face and select shell, type in my distance, and I now have this box shape. Now let's say I want to put like a, a rubber foot around the bottom of this. So I'm going to right mouse click on base and say new component, and I'll call it foot. And you'll notice that the foot component has the little anchor command, and the foot is anchored to the base. So let's go ahead and create a quick sketch on the base here, and offset this outside. Let's just do maybe like an inch in this case. And we'll extrude this. So I'm just giving it like a little, like a rubber foot or something like that. Let's just say 0.125. Okay, so in previous versions, when you created a component, you could click and drag on it and move it around. But you'll notice I'm clicking and dragging and nothing is happening. And that is because, you know, the base is grounded to the lunchbox assembly, and the lunchbox assembly is grounded to basically, you know, the top level origin. So it can't move. You'll also notice that the foot doesn't move. Now, if I were to unground the base, I'm going to say unground from parent, you'll notice that the foot is still grounded to the base. But if I grab this box now, you'll notice I can move that box around because it's no longer grounded to the lunchbox assembly, but the foot is moving with it. And that's kind of the key thing here. I didn't have to create a rigid group to kind of join those two together. It did it for me automatically. And that's kind of the point of this new uh, ground to parent command. I'm gonna go ahead and ground to parent the uh, base and that way it doesn't move anymore. And now let's say we wanna create a lid. So I'm gonna right mouse click on the lunchbox assembly, create a new component, Let's call it lid. And you'll see that it did not get one of the ground to parent icons. And we're gonna come back to that here in just a second. So let's go ahead and create a quick sketch on that top face. Um, it automatically projects for me, so I don't need to do a projection. I'm gonna select both of these profiles and let's just extrude this up maybe like an inch in this case. Okay, now notice it doesn't have the ground to parent, so I can just click on this lid and move it around. 
and I want it to stay, you know, stuck to the base. So I'm going to right mouse click on lid and say ground to parent. And now it is ground to the lunchbox assembly. And if I try and click and drag on this, you'll notice I can't move it around. I'm going to go ahead and finish the design here really quick. I'm going to select that inside face. Let's shell that out just to be the same, 0.125. But let's say I do want this lid to rotate. So I'm going to come in here and create what's called an as-built joint. Because the lid is already where it needs to be, I can use this as-built joint. It's asking for the components. I'm going to select that first component and the second component. And you'll notice I get a warning. And it's basically saying the components you've selected um, are pinned in place already and cannot move. If we join the selected components, they will not move and the new joint will fail. I'm going to go ahead and continue. And it's doing a revolute, so it's asking for where do we want it to rotate around. I'll just select that point there. And you'll notice the preview works okay. But if I try and drag this lid, nothing happens. And that is because it is anchored to the parent, or grounded, I should say, to the parent. So I'm going to right click and say unground from parent. And now the joint, this Revolut joint, is taking precedence. It knows that it needs to stay connected to this base, and it needs to be connected to the lid and revolve around that edge. And so now we can go ahead and move this lid. Okay, now let's say I want to put like a handle or something on here. So I'm going to right click on lid and say new component. And let's just call it handle. So notice that this handle is now grounded to the lid. So let's go ahead and quickly draw a, uh, a handle on here. I'm just going to keep it simple. Let's just do a uh, center rectangle. Uh, six by one or something like that. I'll extrude this up. Let's just say an inch. Okay, basic handle that you can grab onto. Now you'll notice that it's grounded to the parent, which is the lid. So if I grab this lid, notice that the handle moves with it. And I did not have to come in here and say, you know, rigid group and then select both of those components and group them together. So that's the idea behind the ground to parent command. Now, if you don't like that methodology and you kind of want to go back to the way it was, you can turn this option off in your preferences. So if I go into my preferences and then under the assemblies in design, you'll notice first component grounded to parent and I could turn that off, and then this won't happen automatically. But hopefully you saw the power behind, you know, speeding up your design flow, your design process, by having this created automatically. You can come in here and do it yourself if you want to. You can ground to parent, or you can unground from parent automatically if you want to also. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, all I ask is that you give the video a thumbs up and share or repost the video with others in your network. This will help spread the knowledge of Fusion out to the community. If you have any comments or ideas for future topics, please reach out to me at bradtallis at nextgensolutions.com and I look forward to seeing you on the next Fusion Friday.